film project on Myra Levin. It's a Charles Drew University of Medicine and Science. Uh, this is a paper for advanced nursing theory by Professor Rosario. The group has members Ijoma Bagua, Oinadi Kamson, Tabitha Mason, Leila Malak, Asha Mila, Florence Mbanu, and Margaret Kayura. Introduction. Levin's theory provides a cognitive approach that can facilitate the nursing jobs in developing and framing interventions that are widespread or comprehensive in nature for better and more effective, curative, objective, and results. The conservation theory propounded by Myra Levin, born in Chicago in the late 1920s, was greatly inspired to choose nursing as her career due to her father's illness. This her model will be emphasized in six QSEN competencies patient-centered care, evidence-based practice, teamwork and collaboration, safety, quality improvement, informatics. Thank you. This theory with the principles of patient-centered care. Respect of patients' preferences, coordination and integra integration of care, information and education, physical comfort, emotional support, involvement of family and friends, continuity and transition, and access to care. This is in the PICARES 8 principles of patient-centered care. Patient-centered care has care management team. It has an integrated, integrated care continent, a registered dietitian or nutritionist. It has a care coordination, wound specialist, nurse and clinical educators or coordinators, patient engagement, board certified nutrition support and pharmacists. And the nurses are in the center of all the patient-centered care. Hey, good evening, Mr. Zim uh, Mr. Zim come with a very great uh, scientific background, as well as uh, um, inf uh, experience in uh, public health and uh, business administration. Um, he has uh, been on both sides of the fence as an administrator in uh, a hospital setting, and also as a patient at an outpatient facility for regular checkup here and there. Uh, I will be discussing uh, from the patient's uh, perspective uh, how he will view um, patient-centered care. Uh, I'm gonna be using uh, Myra Levine uh, theory. As, uh, Mr. Duru, what will be your expectations from your provider on uh, patient-centered care? Um. My expectations for my provider for patient-centered care would be centered around compassion, of course, in terms of the interpersonal relationship, uh, but the ability to uh, prevent and thoroughly diagnose, um, because it has been shown in a lot of studies that um, your primary care provider provides misdiagnoses for the primary diagnosis the first time around, and that can cause issues in terms of um, people returning and people, uh, patient retention and people actively seeking health as frequently as they should. So I think that that would be the forefront, just um, having a primary care provider that is compassionate, attentive, but also extremely knowledgeable enough to the point where the patient doesn't have to come back two, three, four times to get the correct diagnosis. I know it's um, variable in terms of um, the degree of difficulty um, assigning the right diagnosis the first time, so it wouldn't be perfect, but I just, I guess in my ideal situation, I would maximize both of those. Okay, and you've also mentioned uh, during a part of our interview that um you had back pain and you had an x-ray done. Uh, your uh, primary physician was not able to get those results back to you timely. But when you went into to talk to another one of the providers, she was able to pull the information for you within a few minutes. How would you differentiate the two services between these two providers? I think that providers should be in an atmosphere where they can adequately do their job. And it's hard for a provider to do their job when they have 
50, 60, 70, 80 patients. And so as a healthcare organization, I think it is irresponsible to overload your doctors because with the more patients they get, which is the example I was getting from, you know, um, I had two primary care physicians. One of them was um, orthopedic based for the back x-ray and the other one was oh, wow. based for my therapist. And the therapist actually left the health plan because the organization was assigning her too many patients and it was too hard for her to adequately do the job that she loved doing. And so when you do stuff like that, that's what creates the issues like it taking extra weeks for your x-ray to get back, your doctor being kind of short with you, not really knowing your name, maybe not for remembering what you said last time. Like these are all byproducts, unfortunate byproducts of upscaling. So I, it was an annoying experience from the patient side, but um, knowing how hospital administration works with this particular health plan that I have, I wasn't surprised. So um, I guess um, I hope this answers your question. It bit. did, it did. With your physical therapist being able to assess your x-ray report and was able to analyze it and provide care to you, how was that able to help you towards uh, applying, I mean, uh, complying with your yeah. plan of care? Uh, I it, it provided me with a plan of care because, um, I mean, it didn't necessarily provide me with a plan of care for my x-ray, my x-ray orthopedic related issue, unfortunately, because that just kind of resolved itself. But I do realize the difference between my therapist and my um, general primary care physician and that difference being that even though my therapist has a lot of patients, my my primary care therapy, my primary care physician has more. So it's harder for him, and it's harder for him to do follow up appointments. It's harder for him to remember the notes. It's harder for him to diagnose things as quickly as they should be diagnosed, so that way I can immediately start a recovery. It's harder for him to do all that. It's easier for the therapist. Okay. So I guess you know, just the attentiveness makes the plan of care a lot easier on the patient. And what will you see change towards uh, uh, with your primary care physician so that you can see more one-on-one -on -one communication, physical comfort, information and education towards your plan? I think the only way that could change is if I get a, a new health care plan. <laughs> uh, uh, like I said, with I, I don't really want to put names out there, but um, with the healthcare plan I have, I'm not surprised because it's a very big scale healthcare plan. When you have lower healthcare plans, um, you get more, um, I wouldn't say specialized, that's the wrong word, but you get more one-on-one -on -one care just because it's a smaller scale. So that's, it. it's a, it's a smaller, more direct patient to provider ratio, as opposed to my healthcare plan, where for example, the patient to provider ratio would be like one to 50, one doctor for every 50 patients or something like that. I'm sure it's the ratio is a lot more like complex than that, but just on average, a bigger healthcare plan usually means that kind of thing. The same way a bigger university means you'll have less time alone with your teachers, the same way, you know, it translates. So. I guess the only way to get it better would be to just have a healthcare plan where it wasn't as huge scale. Makes sense, makes sense. Because the gen again, the general practice is always, in almost every healthcare plan, the general practice is usually gonna be the biggest pool, okay. just because that's what everybody uses the most. So, okay. Okay. you know. All right, thank you so much, Mr. Duvero. Uh From every indica indication, I can tell that you are seeing it from both sides of the fence. You understand the uh, uh, providers, how overwhelming they can be, and that actually uh, affects their um, responsibility towards their patients. Mm -hmm. And also, you see the administrative part of it. Uh, but as a patient point of view, mm -hmm. you expect uh, service to be provided to patient, uh, access to care, continuation of uh, treatment, 
uh, involvement of the family, friends, through the physician, so mm -hmm. that the communication channel will be open. Mm -hmm. I see that from everything you told me. But thank you so much for your time tonight. I really appreciate you. Uh, this is uh, uh, a year. Of the movie, A Nursing Theory. The movie Still Magnolia depicts a group of women from different backgrounds and personalities who meet at the local hair saloon to gossip. The movie focuses on friendship, acceptance of one another, and honesty, even and during harsh times. The fundamental concept of Myra Estrin Levine's theory will be used to analyze Shelby. Myra Estrin says that when an individual is in a phase of conservation, they can adjust to health challenges with the smallest amount of effort. I should sit at care here, basing on the Myra uh, Levine theory. Although all theorists focus on the outcome of nursing care, the goal of nursing accordingly to Myra Levine is that nursing involves engagement in human interactions. By proposing to address the conservative of the conservation of energy, structure and personal and social integrity, this nursing, nursing theory helps guide nurses in providing care that will help maintain and promote the health of the patient. Her theory is to promote wholeness while realizing that every individual requires a unique cluster of activities to achieve this wholeness. Wholeness is achieved when the patient is interactive with their environment. This allows integrity to be assured. Wholeness is therefore promoted by the use of the conservation, conservative principle. Levine's views a patient's individual integrity as his or her own concern. It is the nurse's responsibility to assist or defend their patient to seek the realization of that individual integrity. Ways we as nurses could promote patient's individual integrity are by advocating for the patient, maintaining good communication skills with the patient, ensuring that, that patients are part of their care plan, etc. Patient-centered care. Conservation of energy refers to balancing energy input and output to avoid excessive fatigue. It includes adequate rest, nutrition, and exercise. One of Levine's major, major concepts of the conservation of energy is the environment. The perceptual environment is influenced by the information that is recorded by the sensory organs. Patients respond to sense sense organs well, sight, smell, feeling, and taste. They can feel their surroundings and will respond according to our approach towards them. Providing friendly, healing, and healthy environment for a patient improves patient's response to their care. This can be achieved by creating an environment centered around trust, compassion, and incorporation of our patient's personal values and cultures. Also, communicating with patients and family regarding the plan of care is crucial and helps with the patients adhering to treatment. According to Marila, ETAL 2022, a patient actively participates in their treatment. Despite her struggles, she dis she's, de she's determined to lead a normal life. Due to her pregnancy against medical advice, she loses her kidney function. This is the patient discussed according to Marilo. In terms of health perception and health management, Shelby is quite knowledgeable about her disease. She sees specialists on a regular basis. Teamwork and collaboration. 
Based on the nursing theory, the nurse's role in conservation is to help people keep together their whole selves with as little effort as possible. She expresses that she enjoys working around babies. Shelby is a nurse from the movie and her mother suggests that she should stop working to give her circulatory system a rest. Currently, Shelby works as a nurse in the nursery. As a video spur her vocalization, Shelby is able to communicate her needs and wants. Evidence best practice. Practices in the healthcare that are based on evidence are called evidence based practices. Moreover, learning, critical reasoning, and judgments can be acquired through the training and work experience. Quality improvement. Systematic improvement of care is accomplished through quality improvement. To improve outcomes for patients, healthcare systems and organizations, quality improvement aims to standardize processes and structure. Throughout the film, diabetes type 1 is portrayed in a positive light uh, along with its complications. Support systems are also an important part of the story. The end of this film ends with Shelby dying as a result of kidney failure. Stroke organ failure. Okay. okay, good evening. I am here with Dr. Cordelia Padua. I'm going to be addressing um, nursing theory by Myra Levine. Uh, generally, Myra Levine's uh, theory is based on conservation of energy, and the goal is uh, centered on uh, safety of the patient. So, Dr. Padua, I have a few questions for you today. Okay. Uh, you've been in the nursing profession for uh, several years. Uh, you are uh, a family nurse practitioner. Yes. Uh, you've earned your doctorate in nurse practitioner. Yes. Uh, you practice with uh, psychiatric patients. Yes. Uh, you also practice with uh, as a family practitioner. That's correct. Um. How would you apply safety to your patient uh, using self-care, medication error, uh, activity of daily living, self-harm to self and self-harm from others? Okay. According to uh, the theory of Amira Levine, self-care, uh, Levine states that nursing aims to uh, promote wholeness, wholeness while realizing that every individual requires uh, a unique activity to achieve wholeness. Levine's theory further stipulated that um, stipulated that while uh, wholeness exists, when the patient's interaction with uh, the envir environment ensures integrity, wholeness is promoted using the four conservation principles such as uh, conservation of energy, structural and personal and social integrity. For medication error, Levine was also an experienced uh, nurse and teacher who sought to educate uh, medical surgical students about significant concept in nursing. She wanted the focus of nursing to be patient-centered producing better patient outcomes. For um, activity of da daily living or ADL, the core of Levine's uh, conserv conservation model is to improve a personal, physical, and emotional well-being by considering the four conservation domains. Uh, nursing role in the conservation domain is to help patient maintain a safe balance, including adequate rest, nutrition, and exercise. For self-harm, the fundamental concept of Levine's theory is conservation. When an individual is in a conservation phase, it means that the, uh, the person can adapt to the health, health challenges with the slightest effort for harm to others. Levine's conservation theory can be expressed in a nurse 
in a nurse doing her job to the best of her ability, not only for herself, but for the patient in her care as being the utmost importance. Okay, thank you so much, Dr. Padua. This is IJ Baduga. You've covered everything I asked for today and you've been very helpful, okay? Thank you, I really you. enjoyed you. Safety. Speak up for patient safety. No one should be harmed in healthcare. Is this patient demonstra demonstrating wholeness? How well is the patient adapting? What is the patient's concern towards recovery? Is the patient op optimistic? Challenges, goals, etc. Promote this by educating patient on resources available in the community that will help with adoption. Is the patient demonstrating conservation? How is this patient's lifestyle, social integration, speech, spirituality, self-image, family dynamics, environment, culture, identity, and everything else that could help identify this patient for health promotion and safety? Promote this by asking open-ended questions about patient's background in past experiences, traumas, goals, and missed opportunities. Is this patient demonstrating adoption? Ensure if the patient is conserving all the four principles, energy, physical integrity, personal integrity, and social integrity. We can promote this model by providing the patients with pain medication options, encouraging physical rest, advocating for their needs, helping patients for self-care, daily ADLs, and ensuring safety for them. Nursing Informatics Safety and informatics in nursing areas. Shelby with a pure circu circulation system and type 1 diabetes gets pregnant against medical advice. Shelby has also suffered from pregnancy-induced kidney damage, which required a transplant, which eventually fails and ultimately results in her death. According to the conservation model proposed by Myra Estrin Levine, keeping one's personal integrity means recognizing the individual as one who strives for recognition, respect, self-awareness, and autonomy. Likewise, nurse informatics can enable healthcare organizations to reduce medical errors and associated costs. The application of nursing theory to informatics is a critical aspect of healthcare. The nursing profession has integrated the use of information technology in the healthcare delivery. Nurse informatics has been met with resistance from some quarters in the healthcare industry. However, there's no doubt that nursing informatics have enhanced efficiency in healthcare delivery. The introduction of computers in healthcare provision enables relay of information between the admission room and other relevant terminals. The Myra Levin's concept of energy conservation should be replaced by applying for orders of orders for energy supplement drugs and nutritious diets from the computer based order system. These drugs usually act faster than the provision of bed rest to patients. The hospital data can generate appropriate antibiotics to maintain the patient's hygiene and protection from infection. The physician using their knowledge can advise the patient on how to protect one's space needs. Nightingale, 2010. Information for patients with several clinical problems are accessible from any room making work easier. Transpo transformation is the reinvention of how things work or how they can be done. Radiology is one system of transformation that provided com computed tomography scan. Nursing is not just an evolving activity, but also a transforming profession. In the treatment of the patient, radiology can be used to scan the left arm and confirm the anatomic status for bone breakage and lig ligament tear detection. The use of technology is necessary for speedy and efficient services. Applying these theoretical concepts requires accurate interpretation of each empirical knowledge into the clinical practice. Improvement in two nursing areas, Levine's conservation model to care for a patient with diabetic foot. 
Levine's conservation theoretic model is one of one of comprehensive model theory that can be applied in patients with critical diabetic foot in emergency department. This case study describes a nursing care using Levine's conservation model to care for a patient with diabetic foot. The study was a case study with a single case design. Data was collected using physical assessment, written communications with the patient, interviews, patient's family members, and observing the patient during the intensive care in the ED of Lawan General Hospital, December 21st, 2015. Levine's conservation model used as the nursing guidelines successfully identified patient issues, including ineffective breathing pattern as a major priority of energy conservation, problem and damaged tissue integrity as a problem of structural conservation. Both of the conservation problems were caused by patients' personal integrity conservation, maladaptive that caused by ineffective therapeutic regimen management. Levine's conservation model is useful to investigate nursing problem and applicable to solve the emergency condition of damaged tissue integrity in patients' diabetic foot. Levine's conservation model to care for chemotherapy, chemotherapy patients. Description of case study. 52 women were recruited from five university hospital outpatient departments for this pilot study with an experimental design. Subjects were randomly assigned to the working program all to usual care during a, a adjacent chemotherapy or radiation therapy for breast cancer. Symptoms, physical functioning, and QOL were measured at baseline, mistreatment, and the end of treatment. The results. Women who exercise at least 90 minutes per week on three or more days reported significantly less fatigue and emotional distress, as well as higher functional ability. And QOL than women who were less active during treatment. Clinical complications, clinical implications, sorry. A home-based walking exercise program is a potentially effective, low-cost and safe intervention to manage fatigue and to improve QOL during a adjuvant chemotherapy or radiation therapy for breast cancer. Mark Piquet, Ropter, and colleagues in 2001 used the model to study the effect of exercise on fatigue in patients with cancer. Coyne and Roseveg, 2006, studied fatigue and functional status in women with cancer metastasis using the model to assess energy and structural personal and social integrity. Hannah Avila, Mitaya, and colleagues in 2008 found that comprehensive exercise for patients with cancer results in significant improvements in functional status, fatigue, and mood in treatment and recovery. Improvement in two nursing areas, quality. Systematic improvement of care is accomplished through quality improvement. To improve outcome for patients, healthcare systems and organizations, quality improvement aims to standardize processes and structure. Throughout the film, diabetes one, type 1 is portrayed in a positive light along with its complications. Support systems are also impo an important part of the story. The end of the film ends with Shelby dying as a result of kidney failure. Myra Levine's conservation model is foundational to whose holistic patient care and care goals. Adequate composites of adoption to stimuli in an infinite supply of prodigious conservation of health, strength and balance of oneness to each patient. Holistic care is quite frankly a delicate aspect of one's decision to either initiate a pharmacological regimen or completely foregoing of any pharmacological treatments as a choice within their care participation for desired goals with full informed consent rendered. 
competence to a degree of which adoption is accomplished can vary as evidenced by the intensity, amount, coping mechanism, meaning, knowledge, and experiences to all the stimuli, be it internal or external. Restoration of the body and prohibiting any, any further physical breakdown is an imperative portion that also carries weight within patient care. This component can be quite taxing and can fluctuate towards conval convalescent period. Continual and contractual components are required for patient, family, nurse, provider, and other collaborations who can sway the care of the patient to adhere that within managing and improving patient care, these perplexities are inescapable. Nursing education. Nursing education is an active constant movement that according to Myron Levine is an integration of scientific principles. These principles behold indispensable nursing processes, scientific concepts and objectives that cul culminate growth and the capacity for renewed improve, for renewed improves with each activity in attempt to its documented evidence provided. Supportive data per conservation mode is applicable for nursing under graduate and graduate level. For this reason, Levine believes that the integrity of this model will forever be and be used as a cornerstone to the profession of nursing and ongoing education to be expounded upon. Nursing Research Levine's model has been successfully used to develop nursing knowledge. Many research questions can be generated from Levine's model. Clinical researchers have used the conservation principles as a framework to guide their research in a lot of clinical situations. Ballard and colleagues used the model to frame their uh, phenomenological study of how participants reconstructed their lives with paraplegia. They found that structural integrity, along with all other integrities, was used as a basis of defining their new lives. Health disparities, rich versus poor. Health disparities are sustained, worsened health outcomes of a specific disadvantaged group. These health disparities can be health-related quality of life, real rates of severity of disease, disability, mortality, injury, or violence. According to Levine, health is socially determined by their ability to function in a reasonably normal manner, and the goal of nursing is to promote wholeness for all people. Nurses can reduce health disparities by advocating for their patients. This may include advocating for patient rights, appropriate resources, interpreters, distress screening, or even culture competence training in your workplace. In conclusion, the conservation theory by Myra Estrin proposed six com competences to enhance the quality of care of patients. In summary, it is essential to improve the quality of care and limit patient risk by training staff, improving processes, and using best practices, evidence best practices. The goal of nursing is to promote wholeness. Realizing that every patient requires individual, unique, and separate cluster of activities. Theory extends nursing science by increasing safety, high quality care, reducing errors. Individual integrity is an abiding concern and the nurse must take responsibility in assisting the patient to defend and seek realization. And this is a page for our references. Thank you so much.